Hello friends, welcome back to Two Port Networks. In this video, we are going to learn about inverse transmission parameters, that is also known as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash parameters. We have learnt transmission parameters or ABCD parameters in the previous video of two port networks. The voltage current relationship of the transmission parameter was written from port number one. Okay, when it was written from port number one, I2 was considered as outgoing because it was load. Okay, when it was written from port number one, I2 was considered outgoing for the case number one. Now, in this inverse transmission parameter, the analysis position has inverted from port number one to port number 2. We are analyzing the system from this position. This is your viewpoint. You are viewing the circuit. We are viewing the system from port number 2. It means what? We want to calculate. We want to have the value of V2 and I2. It means what? In this power system example, I2 is inward. So, I2 will be positive as it is with the direction and magnitude and V2 will be with its polarity. Now, what will happen to this I1 in inverse transmission parameter case? This I1 will become outward. This I1 will become outward. So, we will put minus sign wherever it is in the equation. See this, minus sign is here, exactly, and the voltage current relationship is defined as V2 is equal to A dash V1 minus B dash I1, similarly, from the port number 2, I2 is equal to C dash V1 minus D dash I1. Difference this A dash, B dash, C dash, and D dash are called inverse transmission parameters. Okay, why inverse? Because the position of analysis has been inverse from port number 1 to port number 2. Initially, in the first phase of transmission parameter, we were analyzing we were writing the equation with respect to port number 1 but in this inverse transmission parameter case in this a dash b dash c dash d dash parameter case we are actually viewing seeing analyzing or the point of reference is port number 2 and what are the variables defined on port number 2 the variables defined are this I2 and this V2 and these variables are depending on the independent variable I1 and V1. In the block diagram, in this system diagram, in two port network diagram, I1 is shown to you inward towards the network. But in the equation, we, we are putting minus sign just to show that in power system, this is your outward. This is clearly seen when we are going to write the equation number 1 and equation number 2 in matrix form. What is the output? Output is V2 I2 is equal to write the parameters A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. Matrix multiplication v1 i1 and i put here minus sign just to shape just to support the logic that i1 is outward this is so simple 
let me show you how it was defined in the case of ABCD parameter or transmission parameter. I will show you the previous video slides. See this. The voltage current relationship was written with respect to port number 1. I1 and V1 were your required output and it was written in terms of V2 and I2. I2 that was independent variable and that was considered the I2 was considered for the power system outward it was given inward but actually in the power system it was outward this is the point of confusion for the many of students that is why I am giving emphasis on this point let us con let us continue with our inverse transmission parameter a dash b dash c dash d dash parameters now the condition for reciprocal network is condition for reciprocal network is given as a dash d dash minus b dash c dash is equal to 1. This is the condition for reciprocal network. Now, the condition for electrical symmetry. Condition for electrical symmetry is given to you by the equation we have studied same concept for the previous transmission parameter which is in this case a dash is equal to d dash The inverse transmission parameters can be determined similarly as we have determined all these in transmission parameter. How we have determined? We have determined by opening and shorting the required ports. Now see this. Let us move towards the diagram. This is your port number 1. If you open the port number 1, that is I1 will become 0. If you open this port number 1, if you open, it means what? I1 will become 0. Only V1 will exist. Okay, this will, this will be one of the approaches. Now, I am going to open the port number 1. open port 1 that implies that will give you i1 is equal to 0 but v1 will exist see this from the current voltage relationship v2 is equal to a dash v1 minus b dash v1 if I1 is 0, this whole term becomes 0. That means what? V2 is equal to A dash V1. Or A dash will be, from this equation we can say, A dash will be V2 upon V1. Okay. A dash will be V2 upon V1. Under what condition? The condition is, we have 
opened port number 1 and that has made i1 is equal to 0 and v1 is finite this is called forward open circuit voltage gain this is called as forward open circuit voltage gain the ratio is having voltage upon voltage so it is unitless it will be unit less likewise when we are having i1 is equal to 0 when the port 1 remains open see this in equation number 2 in equation number 2 i1 is 0 it means what d dash i1 is 0 we are left with i2 is equal to c dash v1 Therefore, from this equation, C dash will be found. C dash will be equal to I2 upon V1. C dash equal to I2 upon V1. Under the condition, I1 is equal to 0. This is called open circuit transfer admittance why admittance see the nature of ratio i2 upon v1 current upon voltage is actually admittance and the unit is move or ohm inverse now we have calculated or found a dash parameter and c dash parameter out of a dash b dash c dash and d dash we have calculated a dash and we have calculated c dash the remaining is b dash and c dash we have operated only port number 1 and by operating port number 1 we have calculated A dash and C dash. Port number 2 is still open for us, still available for us to operate. Now let us see what we are going to do. Either we should open it or either we should short circuit it. Just to see if B dash or C dash can be obtained or calculated from that position or not see this we are going to see the diagram see this port number two this is port number two now if we open this port number two what will happen if you open this port number two i2 will be zero that will not serve our purpose why that will not serve our purpose because I2 cannot be made here 0. I2 cannot be made here 0. See this equation, this is independent variables V1 and I1. We have to do something with this independent variable V1 or I1. We have to make I1 0, I1 zero it means what? Current will be 0 only in open circuit part. So we have opened port number 1. Now, same independent variables are present in both equations. So, we are left only with V1 choice. To make V1 0, what we have to do? To make V1 0, we have to just short circuit this port number 2. If we short circuit this port number 2, V2 will become 0, vanish. Or current will exist. So, what we are going to do? We are going to short circuit port number 2. short circuit port number 2 that will give you v2 is equal to 0 so
also the value of b dash will be we are going to calculate b dash will be equal to v2 upon minus i1 under the condition when v1 is equal to 0 this is called transfer impedance when we have shorted port number 2 when we have short circuited port number 2 we got this v dash transfer impedance so the full name is short circuit transfer impedance short circuit transfer impedance and the unit is ohm likewise d dash is equal to i2 upon i1 with minus sign of i1 under the condition when v1 is 0 when this port number 2 has been short circuited v1 has reduced to 0 and this is called forward short circuit current gain this is called forward short circuit gain and this is unitless because the ratio is having current over current so ampere gets cancelled out with ampere so it is having no unit that is unitless this is all about finding a dash b dash c dash and d dash parameter we have calculated all these four parameter we have calculated all these four parameter now we are interested to find to understand inverse transmission parameters with respect to transmission parameter or simply in terms of transmission parameters we want to understand the relationship between the inverse transmission parameter in terms of transmission parameter the next topic is inverse transmission parameter in terms of transmission parameters now we have just concluded inverse transmission parameters have found a dash b dash c dash d d dash by opening and short circuiting port number 1 and port number 2 respectively now we have also understand and we have seen analysis of transmission parameter and we know the voltage current equations for MECT parameters that is the voltage current relationship of ABCD parameters is known to us and that is in terms of voltage V1 is equal to AV2 
minus b i2 i1 the inward current is equal to cv2 minus d i2 call it equation number here equation number 3 and equation number 4 okay now multiply equation number 4 with minus sign let us multiply equation 4 with minus sign what will happen we will get minus i1 is equal to minus cv2 plus di2 you can relate from here now we are going to write equation number 3 and equation number 4 in matrix form this is so easy to write equation number 4, equation number 3 and equation number 4 in matrix form. Equations 3 and 4 in matrix form. How it can be written? See this. This is your output now in place of this equation number 4 we are going to consider this equation you understand why because in inverse transmission we have minus i1 term so we are just going to follow the pattern so it is v1 i1 if it is was considered this equation it would have been i1 but we are considering this equation we are considering this equation for 4 so this is your 4 dash equation you can say so minus i1 is equal to a minus b minus c plus d no need to put plus sign here it is understood we know all this and v2 into i2 this is your complete matrix form now comparing this equation by comparing these equations, just we have to make comparable equations. Now, in the next state, we are going to have equations. We keep v2 i2 on one side and send everything on another side of the equation means what we are going to have inverse of the matrix like this v2 upon no it is like v2 i2 is equal to the matrix form a minus b this is inverse this is minus c plus plus d okay so v2 it is v1 v1 minus i1 let me write it fresh this is v2 i2 is equal to a 
माइनस बी माइनस सी डी इनवर्स इट इज बी वन एंड माइनस आई वन ऑन कंपेरिंग दिस इक्वेशन दिस इक्वेशन इज कंपेरेबल विथ इक्वेशन नंबर मेट्रिक्स इक्वेशन गिवन इन द फर्स्ट फेज सी दिस वी गोइंग टू कंपेयर दिस इक्वेशन विथ मैट्रिक्स इक्वेशन गिवन ऑन द डेफिनेशन टाइम दिस विल गिव यू दट इज ए डैश बी डैश सी डैश D dash in matrix form is equal to a minus b minus c d inverse is equal to one upon a d minus b c into d b c a that is a dash is equal to d by delta t and b dash is given to you b upon delta t and c dash is equal to c upon delta t and likewise d dash is equal to a upon delta t Now what is delta t? This is your delta t, a d minus b c. This term is called delta t, or delta t is equal to a d minus b c. To have the transpose of this matrix form. To calculate inverse of this, we need to have transpose of this. This delta t is a d minus b c. Similarly, we can have a b c d parameters in terms of we can have a b c d parameters in terms of a dash b dash c dash d dash parameters like a is equal to d dash by delta t b is equal to b dash by delta t c is equal to c dash by delta t and d is equal to a dash by delta t to differentiate delta t from the previous one let us put delta t dash delta t dash delta t dash and delta t dash what is delta t dash here delta t dash is in terms of a dash b dash c dash d dash parameters That is, a dash, d dash, minus b dash and c dash. So this is your complete analysis of inverse transposition parameter. That is, a dash, b dash, c dash, d dash parameters. And we have calculated. We have seen that how it is calculated. parameters